welcome to AG Life Science. Today we are going to discuss about a topic that is I have already written in the board hyperchromic effect and base analog. Before going to discuss this topic I want to discuss about something that what is degradation and what is denaturation. The difference between degradation and denaturation what is the difference in between them and before going to discuss this we all know that DNA is a double standard structure and when we keep a certain amount of heat the double standard structure remain or break down into single standard structure such kind of things and such kind of pictures we have already seen in the books and many everywhere in the net and the google pages everywhere and such kind of things is known as denaturation suppose we can explain it in different ways suppose here is a t g c t t a, a d dna and t a c g a a t and we all know a t there is double bond GC there is triple bond AT double bond GC triple bond so such kind of structure we can found in a DNA or there is a base pair between these two bonds and when we give heat in this structure of support uh, such amount of optimum heat then we can found in such kind of structure A T G C T A T and similarly here T A C G A T A and such kind of configuration we found just like that here previously which I have explained and such kind of configuration we found in this structure and this kind of configuration is known as we can say this is denaturation but when after some time when we reduce the heat we can find in similar way it can renaturate or this kind of configuration we can say it is renaturation so denaturation means the different uh, the separation between the two bonds due to heat or some other external effect and degrade what then what do you mean by degradation degradation means sorry degradation means after a certain amount of huge heat we can separate also the base pair from the DNA suppose A, T, G, C and similar we can found here T, A, C, G such kind of configuration but after degradation we cannot found in such configuration as because after degradation the base pairs cannot join just like before happened in denaturation so this is the difference between denaturation and degradation now today we are going to discuss about the topic that hyperchromic effect 
What is hyperchromic effect? Hyperchromic effect is a very important thing that is asked repeatedly in the net and so we are going to discuss this topic today. This is nothing but when due to separation or denaturation, due to denaturation the absorbance level of a DNA increases up to 40% and this statement is known as nothing but that this statement is known as hyperchromic effect then how it is possible how it is happened that 40% of increasing absorbance level due to denaturation so let's discuss about it the when suppose a double stranded DNA is absorbance level in 260 nanometer is suppose 1 but after denaturation when it is happened in such a condition we can found this at gamma 260 the denaturation level the absorbance level is 1.4 such statement is known as hyperchromic effect and in this case if we see a graph then we can see the graph increases at a certain level and after some time it can increases into certain level suppose this is 1.4 and this is the absorbance level but when it increases up to 20 percent in hyperchromic effect I have told that up to 40 percent is equal to hyperchromic effect but when it is up to 20 percent then we know all the term I hope you are all known about it that is melting temperature melting temperature or TM you all know about it suppose this is 1.4 40% increases and here is suppose 20% 1.2 so this is 1.4 this is 1.2 and this is 1 so this is the TM and this is hyperchromic effect so now you you can ask me one thing that the, it is very easy thing then why I am discussing about it but why hyperchromic effect is increasing up to 40% level what is the reason behind this that causes the hyperchromic effect up to 40% what is the main reason behind this discussion there is a, another thing we have to know that is known as base stacking what is base stacking and the whole hyperchromic effect is depend on this term base stacking then we have to know what is base stacking if we understand the base stacking then we can easily recognize or analysis the thing analyze the thing that what why 40 percent increase happened in the absorption or absorbance of light suppose this is a DNA such kind of configuration we found when it is a double bonded structure so when the light 
based upon it or light light fell upon it then it can the upper part suppose one number of base number one base is absorbing more than the number two so similarly the number two is greater than absorbance level number three and number three is greater than in case of absorbance number four so in certain way in such a way you can easily say that the number five is the least according to this picture i have already drawn in the left side of the board that the fifth number is the least number in case of absorbance of light but when it is getting separated from one each other then every part of it can easily can get the similar number of absorbance level as because they are all separated an equal amount of light is getting upon it so the in such cases they are all equally absorbing the same amount of light that is the main reason why the base stacking causes the hyperchromic effect when they are getting attached to each other the number one getting the highest number of absorbance but when they are separated they all get equally uh, the they get all equally the equal number of absorbance level that is the main cause why why base stacking is causing the hyperchromic effect and i want to say one thing that this base stacking base stacking also base stacking means the planar level of the dna means the planar structure of dna and suppose such kind of things if they are arranged in such a way and they have the attribute or they have the characters to attach with each other each other then they can easily attach to it each other and this help the structure to attach to it them and bind to each other suppose there are some bricks if they are not attached to its cements also we can we can easily stand on them or we can suppose play on it or we can stand up on it but when it is attached to it, each other then it, we can easily make a wall on it and it is highly resistible and highly uh, defendable so in this case suppose if we thought that it is a dna then the upper level of the and this is if we say that the this is the base then the number one series base gets number one series base gets the highest number of chance to the absorbance of light in comparable to number two and in such a way the third series getting lesser number than the number two in case of comparability of the number two Two and in such a way, similarly happens in following orders. So we can say easily the base stacking is the main cause of the hyperchromic effect. So I hope you understand this topic, and I hope you are all well in such a condition of corona. We are all home now. If you like this video. please click the like button and if you did not subscribe subscribe my channel till now please subscribe this and share this video with your friends thank you